السلام علیکم فرینڈس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی گاما فنکشن فرینڈس گاما فنکشن از ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی کیپٹل لیٹر گاما لائک دس ون دس از دی کیپٹل لیٹر گاما سو گاما فنکشن از ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی دس لیٹر اینڈ اٹ از ون کامنلی یوز ایکسٹینشن آف دی فیکٹوریل فنکشن ٹو کمپلیکس فنکشن The gamma function can be defined for all complex numbers except of non-positive integer. Means कि gamma functions जो है उसको हम define कर सकते हैं for complex number except negative integers के यानी positive integers के लिए हम gamma function को define कर सकते हैं और यहाँ पर हमारे पास एक integer होना चाहिए यानी अगर मैं लिखता हूँ कि gamma n where n is positive integer and greater than zero so n should be greater than zero means its values can be one two three and so on the proper mathematical definition of gamma function is equal to gamma n is equal to integration from zero to infinity x to the power n minus one and e to the power minus x and dx this is the mathematical definition of gamma function where n is greater than 0 now in today lecture we will derive two properties of gamma function one property is the gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n we will derive this equation and second we will derive gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial these are the two properties of a gamma function in today lecture we will derive these two properties now let's derive this first property which is equal to gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n we will derive this one friends we know the definition of gamma function which is equal to gamma n is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 and e to the power minus x into dx this is the definition of gamma function now i am going to replace this n by n plus 1 so this equation will become equal to gamma n plus 1 is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x this n will be replaced by n plus 1 so we will get n plus 1 minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx now this plus 1 and this minus 1 will cancel each other and we will get integration from 0 to infinity x to the power n e to the power minus x into dx now i have to integrate this integration by using integration by parts now this equation will become equal to gamma n plus 1 is equal to x to the power n e to the power minus x divided by minus 1 and the limits are from 0 to infinity minus integration from 0 to infinity n x to the power n minus 1 and e to the power minus x divided by minus 1 this is the integration of this integral now when i apply the upper limit and lower limit here we will get 0 this term will become equal to 0 and we will get gamma n plus 1 is equal to 0 plus n this minus and this minus will become equal to plus and we will get n integration from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx we will get this one now if we look at this integration this is the definition of gamma function which is equal to gamma n 
So we can write it as that gamma n plus 1 is equal to n and this is equal to gamma n. So this is the required derivation of a first property of gamma function. So we can say that gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n. Now we are going to derive the second property of gamma function. The second property is gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial. Since we know that gamma n is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx. This is the definition of gamma function. Now I am going to put the value of n equal to 1. So gamma 1 will be equal to integration from 0 to infinity x to the power 1 minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx. Here this will become equal to x to the power 0 and x to the power 0 is equal to 1. So gamma 1 is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus x into dx. Now I have to integrate this one and we will get minus e to the power minus x and the limits are from 0 to infinity. Now when I put the upper and lower limit we will get gamma n is equal to 0 plus 1. So we can say that gamma 1, this is gamma 1, gamma 1 is equal to 0 plus 1. So we can say gamma 1 is equal to 1 and we can write it as that gamma 1 is equal to 0 factorial. So we can say that gamma 1 is equal to 0 factorial. Now I am using the first property of gamma function which is equal to n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma n. Now I am going to put the value n is equal to 1. So this will become equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 into 1. So this is equal to gamma 2 and 1 and gamma 1 is equal to 0 factorial. So 0 factorial. So I can write it as that gamma 2 is equal to 1 factorial. Similarly, if I put the value n is equal to 2, so this property will become equal to gamma 2 plus 1 is equal to 2 into gamma 2. So this will become equal to gamma 3 is equal to 2 and the value of gamma 2 is 1 factorial. So I can write it as that gamma 3 is equal to 2 factorial. Similarly, gamma 4 is equal to 3 factorial and gamma 5 is equal to 4 factorial. And gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. Here we have 5 and here we have 4 factorial. So here we have n and here we have n minus 1 means one number less than this n. So we will get gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. Similarly gamma n plus 1 this should be equal to n factorial means here we have n plus 1 and here we have only n means one number less than this one. If here uh, n is 5, 1, this should be equal to 5 factorial. So n plus 1 is equal to n factorial. So this is the required derivation of the second property. Thank you.